Just like the trailer to the documentary, It's Worse Than You Think, Part 2. The video you're about to watch has already been removed and taken down by the enemy. It is only by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the Almighty that we were able to re-upload it. Watch the entire video as fast as you can and spread it to as many people that you know that love the truth. So putting together videos like the one you're about to watch have taken much more time than usual because we have to be very wise in the things we say and show you with the hope that you will put two and two together and read in between the lines to see what it is we're trying to show you and what the Spirit is saying to the churches. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. As we are working on the documentary, It's Worse Than You Think, Part 2. And if you've never experienced what it's like to put together a documentary, to edit, and to do the things behind the scenes, you wouldn't understand why it takes so long. The documentary, It's Worse Than You Think, Part 1, took hundreds of hours because of our love and passion for truth, who is Jesus Christ, and our love and passion for you. So as we are continuing to work on the documentary, It's Worse Than You Think, Part 2, I needed to take the time and give you this video because of how fast things are moving. So please, pray before you watch this video. Take notes and warn as many as you can. So let's not waste any time. Let us begin with this small documentary called The Whole World is a Stage. I want you to imagine that this is a slice removed from the documentary It's Worse Than You Think Part 2. What we are about to show you may shock you, may overwhelm you, but I promise you, you need to know the truth because the Lord God said, my people perish because of a lack of knowledge. Satan is a sorcerer, a magician, a worker of magical spells. From the beginning of time, in the Garden of Eden. He operates out of whispering language. Hopefully you have seen our documentary called The Whispering God. If you haven't, you can watch it directly on our website at revelationsofjesuschrist.com. This documentary was reaching almost a half a million people and was taken down by the enemy. But he operates out of witchcraft language. But you have to understand that the Most High warned us in the book of Isaiah that Lucifer said that I will be like the Most High. And just as God is very precise and accurate and he commands his servants to do things a certain way. When he commanded them to make the ark, when he commanded them to build the temple, he wanted it done precisely and exactly the way he commanded it to be done. 
In the same way Lucifer, who wants to be like Christ, commands his evil servants to do things a certain way. And just as Christ uses numbers, symbols, and colors, we can see this truth all through the Bible. There are certain numbers that God uses. There are certain colors that he mentions on the breastplate of the priest, on the walls, certain colors in New Jerusalem. And symbols. But in the same way, Lucifer uses numbers, symbols, and colors but he illegally uses these things that the Most High has created in witchcraft and magical rituals. As many of you know, we have been warning the masses for a long time how Satan uses Hollywood to brainwash the people with predictive programming sigil, greater and lesser magic. Even the word Hollywood comes from the holly tree, which is what they make their magic wand out of. And just as a farmer plants a seed and waits for the right season for that seed to germinate and become a plant, the Luciferians plant seeds through movies, shows, cartoons, video games, news, social media, into the minds of the masses. And then they wait for the right season to bring that which they have given through predictive programming and psychological warfare to come to pass. You know, William Shakespeare once said, all the world is a stage. This is a man that is propagated throughout schooling systems. But did you know that the Freemasons highly esteem him as one of their own? So what if this was coded language? And what if the world truly is a stage where Luciferian actors Deceive the masses 24 hours, 7 days a week. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. And why is that woe to us? Because you people and 62 million other Americans are listening to me right now. Because less than 3% of you people read books. Because less than 15% of you read newspapers. Because the only truth you know is what you get over this tube. Right now, there is a whole, an entire generation that never knew anything that didn't come out of this tube. This tube is the gospel, the ultimate revelation. This tube can make or break presidents, popes. Prime Ministers, this tube is the most awesome goddamn force in the whole godless world. And woe is us if it ever falls into the hands of the wrong people. This tube is the most awesome goddamn force in the whole godless world. And woe is us if it ever falls into the hands of the wrong people. And if the illuminated ones highly esteem William Shakespeare as one of their own, then certainly they would believe the same philosophy. That the world is a stage and they must act and lie, put on shows, and trick the masses that are watching. I followed the money, I found that it took me up the levels of a pyramid. Here we are at the bottom level going about our daily lives. 
above us is government people who are given a monopoly on force and use it to tax and control us whether or not we agree but who controls them at the next level are the corporations many would say that it is now corporations and not nation states that rule the world they call it a corporatocracy did you just hear what he said he said it is now the corporations that rule and dominate in the world this lines up perfectly with the prophecy of revelation chapter 18 verse 23 that warns us about the abomination and how by sorcery will all the world be deceived by the beast that word sorcery in the greek is the word pharmakia it's where you get the word pharmacy think real clear what is from the pharmacy that is being pushed all over the world but before that it says that the merchants were the great men of the earth those that sold those who have businesses would be the most powerful people will be the chief people that is what it is saying prophecy coming to pass but most sadly don't see it at the next level are the corporations many would say that it is now corporations and not nation states that rule the world they call it a corporatocracy to acquire the world's resources and control the markets this corporatocracy must have access to cheap money the big corporations get their loans at special rates from the big banks which means that those who control the major banks the moneyed elite ultimately control the corporations as I followed the money I've learned that almost everything I once believed about money is simply not true This would explain why to the Luciferians it is so important that everything is done as if it is on a stage. Because as we have told you in documentaries in the past, most of them have been taken down or removed because of the truth within them but if you have seen certain videos you would remember that we warned you about sigil magic and warned you about lesser magic this is when they have to tell you what they're going to do in order to make the spell more powerful because the devil knows that you are created in the image of God. He has to get your permission and for you to agree for him to put a spell on you. But you see, there are certain gray areas where they can get away with it without telling someone they're putting a spell on them. And one of these ways is through Hollywood using movies, TV shows, using video games, news, social media, because the mind is not looking at it as something literal, but to the illuminated ones, they are dead serious. So when you start to put the puzzle together, and you see certain events that have taken place and then you look into the past and find out they were using lesser magic and predictive programming before they did it. One great example would be that tragic day two metal birds would fly into two tall buildings in the city of New York. But I remember that my life changed 
when my understanding was opened and the Lord showed me how crafty the enemy is. I'll never forget when I seen this video. Get ready to read all these words on this page without making a mistake. Look at the letter at the end and remember the sound it makes. Get ready. Kite. kite. Yes, kite. Get ready to read this word the fast way. Get ready. King. Yes, king. Sound it out. Get ready. King. Sound it out. Get ready. King. What word? King. Yes, king. Boys and girls, sound this word out. Get ready. Steel. What word? Steel. Yes, steel. Read these words the fast way. Get ready. Play. Yes, play. Get ready. Must. Yes, must. Let's read these words the fast way without making a mistake. Get ready. Kite. Yes, kite. Get ready. Kick. Yes, kick. Get ready. Steel. Yes, steel. Get ready. Play. Yes, play. Get ready. Must. Yes, must. Go to your speaker reader up from your seat. Open your book up to lesson 60 on page 150. Get ready to read all these words on this page without making a mistake. Look at the letter at the end and remember the sound it makes. Get ready. Kite. Yes, kite. Get ready to read this word the fast way. Get ready. King. Yes, kick. Sound it out. Get ready. Kick. Sound it out. Get ready. Kick. What word? Kick. Yes, kick. Boys and girls, sound this word out. Get ready. Steel. What word? Steel. Yes, steel. Read these words the fast way. Get ready. Play. play. Yes, play. Get ready. Must. Yes, must. Let's read these words the fast way without making a mistake. Get ready. Kite. Yes, kite. Get ready. Kick. Yes, kick. Get ready. Steal. Yes, steal. Get ready. Play. Yes, play. Get ready. Must. Yes, must. Go Are you going to tell me that that is a coincidence? Or could it be the same way the Most High God is very precise, the way he commands things to be done, and he uses certain numbers and colors, and he has a reason for what he does. And if Lucifer wants to be like the Most High, then he is going to operate out of magic power instead of the power of God. He is going to operate out of sorcery. He has to do rituals that open up gateways to the darkness. So while 3,000 souls were sacrificed, the children unknowingly were chanting, strengthening the spell on that tragic day. But you have to understand that we all came into this world and were victimized by the brainwashing and the psychological warfare of the beast system. And this is something that they have been waiting and waiting and waiting for because everything has to be done in a season of time. So as the highly esteemed Freemason once said, the whole world is a stage. These Luciferians have to continue the movie. They have to continue this great plan. But have you ever wondered why they're so fascinated with the black and white checkered floor? The same checkered floor that a game of chess is played on. And speaking of chess, this is a game that was invented a long time ago. 
It's a game that takes craftiness. It's a game that takes pre-planning and foreseeing moves and trying to outwit the opponent. It's a game where soldiers are sacrificed for the greater good of the victory. But have you ever considered that to the Luciferians, the whole world is a chessboard? And that the white square represents how they masquerade as messengers of light. The black squares represent who they really serve, which is the prince of darkness. And could it be that as they look at the world as a giant chessboard, have you ever considered that they're playing on both sides of the chess game? Have you ever heard of the Hegelian dialectic? What if all of the rulers of the world, kings and queens, presidents, dictators, truly do serve one master behind the closed doors in the darkness. And when they gather together to speak about what will be planned out years in advance, they are activating chess players on the black and white board. But this isn't a normal game where you're watching two people who are opposed to one another playing against each other. The secret you must know right now is that the beast plays on both sides of the chess game. So the dragon decides what player will move where on his chessboard in his world? Remember, he is the god of this world. You see, for Satan to execute his final plan to bring the world together, to place the beast in the heart of men, he had to wait for the human race to get to a level of intelligence where the book of Daniel's prophecy would come to pass that knowledge would increase. He would have to wait for this day for technology and for the use of electricity to be brought forth for his diabolical plan to come to pass. We live in a day and age where you have to be careful what you receive as truth. In this last hour, they can make things appear in the sky that are not even there. Half the movies that you have ever watched have, have scenes that don't even exist. What do I mean by that? It means that while the camera was recording, the actors were in front of a green screen and they digitally put in a world in the movie that your eyes cannot tell you wasn't real. Remember that Satan is the great deceiver the whisperer, the father of all lies. So how does your, how does your mind determine what is truth and what is false when it comes to what you see and hear on social media, movies, the news, on your technology devices? So who is 
the wizard behind the green screen curtain. The Most High warned us in the last days they will hate good and love evil. They will reject the truth and embrace the lies. Where the saints of the Most High God will be labeled the enemy of the world. Because many are not willing to tell you the truth at the expense of being hated, slandered, and rejected by millions. But no servant is greater than their master. And if they hated me, they will hate you, the Lord Jesus Christ said. Let us carry on as we had to stop with the editing of the documentary to give you this because time is moving faster. Or maybe to you, that's just another coincidence and I'm just doing this for views. Maybe this documentary is not for you, but what if, what if it really goes this deep? What if to the Luciferians, it is very important to them that every detail is brought forth in their agenda. That to work their magical spells, they have to use lesser magic and show your eyes and speak to your ears what they're going to do. And when you do not reject it while you watch the movie, while your child watches the cartoon, while you play that video game, while you scroll through social media and watch what is going on the news when your mind does not reject that seed that they are trying to plant in you through magical spells you give them the permission because you did not reject it and satan has found a way to get legal ground on so many without them even knowing it because they thought it was all entertainment. But the very word entertainment means to be detained for entry. Now remember, my hope is that this video will remain online as long as possible but it takes for you to help spread this video to as many that love truth as possible, as fast as possible. My hope is that this spell will break off of as many as possible at the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Almighty. But I have to speak this truth to you that your understanding would open and you would see it for what it is. You see, what you have to know is if you see the agenda of Lucifer and if you are exposed to how he operates his witchcraft, sorcery, and magical spells, once you are aware of it, then you will reject it and it will no longer have power over you. And this is why I had to take the time and stop where I was editing It's Worse Than You Think Part 2 to give you this video because time is running out. And I have to make sure that the knowledge I'm about to give to you is brought to you. So 
so that way you have this while you're waiting for this documentary to come out. We don't know what will happen tomorrow. What if the grid goes down? Look at how they are already letting you know that food is going to be at a crisis like never before. It is time for you to prepare and get your house in order. Seek Christ while he may be found. The way I'm trying to explain it to you, if you would just look at this world where Satan is the chess player at the top, which means you have to look at it through a military mind frame, through a military understanding. He is strategizing and moving chess pieces across the earth. One of the strategies of war is to flank your enemy, to trick your opponent. Have you ever heard of the story, the Trojan horse, where they offered a gift at the gate of their enemy? They got in their boat and pretended to sail away. And the gates opened up and their adversary let this great horse into their kingdom. And they celebrated and said, our enemy has given up. They have retreated. And later on that night, after they have drank and celebrated and were passed out all through the city, the belly of that horse opened up. And the top assassins that were assigned came out, slaughtered the soldiers at the gate. And those ships that looked like they were sailing away came back around and invaded and sacked the city. So do you think it could be possible that because the world is a stage and because they know the children of God also use social media to warn the masses. They would have to try to flank you and trick your understanding by simply stopping mandates. Saying we no longer need to wear this covering on our face and you no longer need the abomination after billions have already been bitten by the serpent because they are trying to get those that have been opposed and those that have been on the fence not wondering is this truly the abomination that Christ warned us about or is it not but I am warning you not to celebrate you have to understand and know how a psychopath operates, especially a genius psychopath. Narcissists and sociopaths plot and plan their moves to use and destroy people. So start looking at this world as a chessboard so that way you are not gullible to just quickly believe what you see and hear, but test everything and take it to the Lord. Let me ask you a question. Let's say you are a woman who is being abused every single day. You're beaten by your boyfriend. He has no mercy for you. And then one day he comes with flowers and tells you he loves you. Would you fall for it? Or would you know that something is not right? He is, this is not his character. So why is he doing this? Don't you find it strange that certain countries went from 500 degrees of enforcing mandates to all of a sudden canceling them overnight? 
you don't find that strange. I mean, we did try to warn you in the documentary, The Boiling Frogs of Babylon, how they operate. But notice, right prior to this war starting in Ukraine, they switched up their tactics. But you see, while you're celebrating and while you're focused on foolishness, like Will Smith slapping Chris Rock in the face, which by the way, was all acting. While they are distracting you to look over to the right, they're passing laws to the left. And do you think they really have a plan to end mandates when they are passing laws from December, January, February, March that have everything to do with monitoring those who have been bitten and those that have not? You will know a tree by its fruit. And while the world is distracted and focused on Russia and Ukraine, this is part of their great reset. Because they need these excuses to shut everything down. And doesn't it appear that America has been chosen by these Luciferians in their secret meetings to be a sacrifice on the altar of the beast. Can't you see how they are starting to change the way oil is bought and sold and the US dollar is holding on by a thread because it is part of the plan to bring everybody to reset the person with 250,000 in the bank and the person negative 20 in the bank will be reset to zero. Where they can use the excuse of famine and food shortages due to this manufactured war to tell you, you must take the abomination and continue the ritual or starve, be imprisoned and eventually killed. But I will tell you a secret. If you want to know what will ripple to the rest of the earth, pay attention to the red dragon in the east. What goes on there spreads. You notice it is strange that world leaders are now starting to admire and highly esteem the president of the Red Dragon. As if the way they treat their citizens is honorable. But it's part of the agenda. Because remember, the dragon gives the beast power. And the rulers of the earth give their allegiance to him. And he decides what goes on in his world. So this red dragon has just started a new lockdown. While people are deceived in America, thinking the coast is clear, off in the distance of the east, the dragon is pushing forth more ripples and mandates. And I want you to hear this very carefully. What is going on in Ukraine is part of the plan. And what is very probable and highly likely is they are going to use this as an excuse to introduce a new strand of you know what to the nations. It just so happens to be that they are saying in the Ukraine there are laboratories and it just so happens to be that Ukrainian people are being sent all over the world as refugees. But remember, if this is a game of chess, they planned this a long time ago. The beast 
already planned this move on the chessboard. On the great black and white checkered floor. Could it be that just like that, the same way they shut everything down once, are you so gullible to think they can't do it again? And now with most of the world already injected with the abomination, they can focus more on those who have been on the fence and those that have opposed it. Because it's easy now to change the minds of the people, to look at those who stand for truth and stand against the abomination as the enemy. We have to start doing things for the greater good of society and not for idiots who think that they can do their own research or that they are above the law and they can break the rules. Australia, Novak Djokovic, Australia said, no, 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 no. We're going to look at the greater good of everyone in our society, and you're not part of that. If it was up to me, anyone on it would not be admitted to a hospital. At this point, they've been given plenty of opportunity to get the They don't trust our government. They think that there's some conspiracy to turn them into a magnet or something like this. Now, if you don't get it, in my America, uh, all hospitals would be closed to you. You're going to go home and die. If it was up to me. When people are seeing uh, cancer treatments uh, and elective surgeries put off uh, because beds are filled with people who chose not to get they're frustrated. When people see that we're in uh, lockdowns or serious public health restrictions right now because um, the risk posed to all of us by un people, People get angry. What do you think about this new epidemic of people being angry, angry with the unvaccinated? I think they have a right to be angry. And not just to think about, well, my freedom is being kind of disturbed here. No, screw your freedom. The consequences of you not being vaccinated is, I'm not going to shut the fuck up. I'm going to be in your mother ear driving you crazy. You know that Sopranos episode where Tony Soprano, where that guy just started blasting the music just to drive the neighbor crazy? Yeah. That is going to be me. I'm going to be in your ear telling you back. The plea you just gave us. What is it going to take to get people to get shot tonight? I don't know. You tell me. Folks supposed to have common sense. And, but it's time for, to start blaming the unvaccinated folks, not the regular folks. It's the unvaccinated folks that are letting us down. As the ones who continue to allow sickness to spread you see but we've already warned you that this day would come way back two years ago i spoke prophetically to you but of course that video was taken down i let you know that the same way hitler used propaganda used technology which was the radio at that time to brainwash the people to hate a certain group of people to the point where they willfully wanted to imprison, rape, and kill them. It's the same way the beast is using social media right now to cause people to hate you because you stand against the abomination. And now they're changing laws and what they consider a terrorist. As of February the 7th, 2022, the United States Department of Homeland Security just recently updated their guidelines regarding terrorism and terroristic threats to United States. They made it their business to include anything that has to do with questioning narratives or being a quote unquote conspiracy theorist. And one of the most wickedest men on the earth who has pushed more of the abomination than any other has said with his own words that those who stand against this are criminals. And this is who are the criminals. Now, he said the folks who are getting swept up by this misinformation, it's understandable that they may be afraid, but really saying that the people deliberately spreading misinformation, those people are essentially making criminal acts. But yet to stand against it, he says we are the criminals. What a wicked sociopathic psychopath but let's go back 
to the green screen curtain. Just like all the things that have been propagated through mind control, lesser magic, and PSYOP programs that have been going on for a long time. Do you have any people paid by the CIA who are working for television networks? This, I think, gets into the kind of uh, getting into the details, Mr. Chairman, that I'd like to get into in an executive session. Uh, at CBS, uh, we uh, had been contacted by the CIA. As a matter of fact, by the time I became the head of the whole news and public affairs operation in 1954, the ships had been established, and I was told about them and asked if I'd carry on with them. Do you have any people being paid by the CIA who are contributing to the National News Services, AP and UPI. Well, again, I think we're getting into the kind of detail, Mr. Chairman, that I'd prefer to handle in executive session. Senator, do you think that you name the news organizations in your final report? Uh, that, that remains to be decided. I think it was entirely in order for our correspondents at that time uh, to make use of uh, CIA agent ch uh, chiefs uh, of station and other members of the executive staff of CIA as sources of information which were useful in their assessments of world conditions. Would you say that continues today? Well, I, yeah, I would think probably for a reporter it would continue today, but because of all of the revelations of the period of the 1970s, uh, it seems to me that a reporter's got to be much more circumspect in doing it now, or he runs the risk of uh, at least being looked at with considerable disfavor by the public. I think you've got to be much more careful about it. But sadly, so many that are blinded will ignore the voice crying in the wilderness and trust the fact checkers online. But they never do their research to find out who is paying these fact checkers online. Well, just with a little research, I found out that the same person that you see on the screen is the same company that is financially supporting and backing the fact checkers online. So let that sink in. The company that decides who is telling the truth and who is promoting lies is the same company being paid by the same people that are promoting the abomination. Are you starting to see how the game is rigged and the beast plays both sides of the chessboard? I noticed that even from a child, in this late hour, and all the way to this late hour, movies and the media has always portrayed, most of the time portrays the Russians as an enemy of the United States. You see, this again was part of the agenda to create this warlike mentality in the minds of the people. But make no mistake about it, this is not a political video where I'm discussing things from an earthly perspective. I am trying to show you the spiritual behind it. Vladimir and the president of Ukraine are both moved around this chessboard by the same person at the top. Are you starting to understand how diabolical this is? They are both wicked, playing different roles to fulfill the great movie on the stage of the world, where Lucifer is the director and the funder of the movie. 
but I notice the increase to fuel that fire between America and Russia. And remember the Lord Jesus Christ warned us, if you kill with the sword, you must be killed with the sword. The United States is the only country to use a certain device on another country called Japan. That is a great sword. And because of that, the United States opened up a door. And the biblical principle is if you kill with the sword, you must be killed with the sword. And everybody thinks that America is invincible. And as much as I thank God, I was born here. And there were so many blessings. And I do not hate this land. But we hate the evil that is propagated. We hate how Satan is governing those in leadership positions here. But we thank God for the children of Christ that are on this land. And we know that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, but could it be possible that because America did that to Japan, it opened up a door for Russia, China, and others to attempt to do it on this land? And just as the children of Israel rejoiced in the days of Jeremiah and said, we are protected this is the great city of God nothing can happen to us but yet God himself was giving them up to Babylon and Jeremiah was hated and called a false prophet as he warned them with tears so do you think that God would do that to his own chosen people but yet have some extra favor on this nation that has murdered more babies, promoted more sorcery, and done more evil than most of the countries they condemn. Now make no mistake about it, just because I speak the truth doesn't make me anti-American. It doesn't make any of us a terrorist. Because we are against violence. We are against the murder of innocent people. For we do not fight against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and the rulers of the darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God. And we hate to see blood shed and innocent people murdered. And this is why we speak out. Because everyone that dies, where are they going? The most terrifying thing is dying not right with Christ or dying rejecting Christ or dying not knowing him. So yes, we stand against evil no matter what nation it is in. But it doesn't mean we stand against everyone in that place. So I am telling you this now so you know it ahead of time. That there is another wave that will come. You understand? One of the oldest tricks in the book when it comes to sales. And anybody that has ever done sales will tell you. Have you ever had a man run up on you? while you're in a parking lot heading into a store and he'll try to sell you something. And as he's talking, he'll put that product into your hand and say, yeah, do you like this? Oh yeah, yeah, you should buy that for your wife. You should buy that for yourself, whatever that product is. But then he'll take that out of your hand without asking you. It's actually a psychological trick to make your mind want that which you had in your hand. In essence, increasing the probability of you buying the product. So the same way the Luciferians will play psychological warfare with your mind, with the minds of the people, by taking away their freedom, enforcing mandates, treating them as slaves, although they didn't realize they were to begin with. Because without Christ, you are a slave. 
who the Son of Man sets free is free indeed. And then they will give the freedom back to the people and say, hey, we just woke up and decided there's no more mandates. But as the masses hold that freedom in their hands and they enjoy not having to cover their faces anymore, they enjoy not being shut down anymore, then they take it back out of their hands, inducing and provoking more rage in the people. And they must look for somebody to blame. Why are we still being locked down? Why are we still being enforced with mandates? Why? And the great magician behind the green screen points at the people who stand for Christ and will not bow their knee to the abomination. So as you see China shutting down, as you see Ukrainians travel the earth, keep an eye out for so-called new strands of you-know-what coming onto the scene. And with the use of technology, and I'm not going to say it because this could, I can't use certain words because it will trigger the beast algorithm you know the image of the beast who is alive who monitors what is said and done online the same image that allows fornication and violence and all type of evil and debauchery and wickedness but the minute truth is spoken it tries to attack so i try not to use certain words that will trigger the algorithm of the beast but as a new so-called of the you-know-what is introduced, you'll know ahead of time. And I'm telling you to prepare now. Come together as communities in Christ. Instead of selling your land and laying it at the feet of apostles, I truly believe in this last hour, you're supposed to keep your land to bring shelter to children of God. Although we cannot put our trust in these things, it is wise. You will survive longer in communities. Trusting in Christ. Waiting his return. And if you have to die for him, if you have to go to prison for him, know that he will be with you. If that is his will. But we must go to a newer level. We must go to another level in this short documentary the same way the magic wand of lucifer which is hollywood has propagated things and used lesser magic to show you what they are going to do don't you find it odd that a movie would come out called world war z you know starring brad pitt notice the words world war are in the title of that movie. Notice the people are demonized. Notice that it's called World War Z. And it just so happens to be that the country that the beast decided to move on the checkered chessboard has the letter Z on their tanks. Do you think that is a coincidence? Or maybe what I'm telling you is the truth. That these psychopaths have to obey the precision and accuracy of the commands of their master, Lucifer. Who uses the beast as the one who plays the chess game. Giving out the orders to the kings of the earth. What I'm about to show you is something you won't be able to undo. Is something that cannot be undone once it is revealed to you. The blue and yellow conspiracy. Now as a disclaimer, I want to remind you that the Most High God is the creator of numbers, shapes, and colors that means it isn't colors themselves that are evil it isn't numbers themselves that are evil it's how they are used 
A good example would be fire. Christ created fire. The Lord created fire. Fire can be used for good. Somebody can cook you a meal with fire. Someone can cook a meal for a man with fire. Heat up his house and keep him warm with fire that God created. Or they can choose evil and take that fire and burn that man to death. You see, just because something is created by God doesn't mean Satan won't try to use it in an evil way. I had to say that before we move on so that way you have a healthy balance. A good example would be if I traveled into California preaching the gospel and I'm in a certain part of LA and I'm in a certain neighborhood where the bloods are the main gang just because I'm wearing red doesn't make me a blood. But the fruit has to line up with the colors. The fruit has to line up with the numbers. The fruit will line up with the symbols. Are you understanding the healthy balance? In other words, if a man wears blue, but he's godly, he doesn't rob, he doesn't steal, he doesn't shoot people. He helps his community. He prays for others. Then that man would not be a crip member just because he has blue on. But if that man was robbing people, doing drive-bys and hunting down people that wear red, you could associate that blue color with his fruit and know he is a crypt. Are you understanding my disclaimer? So the same thing applies with what I'm about to reveal to you. The color blue and color yellow were created by the Most High God. But Satan takes those colors and he uses them in rituals. But Satan will take colors and numbers and symbols and use them evil in rituals and spells and magic. Do you understand? So now that I explain that to you, I have to show you what has been revealed has changed how I see and perceive this diabolical plan even deeper. Now we've all worn blue and yellow, even myself, because it is colors God created. But these two colors, I have found out, have been chosen by Lucifer as the colors of the beast, the colors of the abomination. You notice that many countries that have been oppressed by dictators, nobody ever really rose up like they are doing for Ukraine. Now, where do you determine what is real and what is not? Because remember, according to the Luciferians, William Shakespeare, who they highly esteem as one of their own, said the whole world is a stage. So therefore, they have to act things out. So what do you determine? Is someone telling the truth or somebody part of the game of chess on the board of Satan's plan? Whether it's someone at the top who takes direct orders from the dragon under the beast or someone at the very bottom of the pyramid who just lies on the news to trick the people. But you notice that there wasn't a whole lot of propaganda to stand with Sudan to stand with the Iraqi people as they were being murdered. I notice a double standard that the United States has gone into so many countries to say they are here to help the people, but yet millions of people have died in the process. And even President George laughed after all was said and done and said, I guess there wasn't any weapons of mass destruction anyway. 
I mean, could you imagine how heartless these sociopaths really are that meet up with Lucifer to decide the fate of billions? But have you noticed how strange it is how quickly social media and the news and places all over the earth are standing for Ukraine? But yet many Africans didn't get that same treatment. But many other people in many other places didn't get that same treatment when their country was invaded by whatever nation it could be. I want to show you something. So prepare yourself. Remember that there are companies that control everything. Remember, there are only a handful of families and companies and corporations that control everything. And they answer directly to the beast who answers directly to the dragon. So whatever they decide is to be said on the news, it is said. To the point where hundreds of news stations will all say the same script. Sharing of biased and false, false news, news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media Unfortunately, some members of the media use their platforms to push their own personal bias and agenda to control exactly what people think. And this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. At the same time, they decide what movies are pushed into the cinemas. They decide what video games are released. They decide what musicians are brought forth and what songs are made. It's all part of this great play on the stage of Lucifer. And make no mistake about it, they care about every single detail. Whether it's something in a video game, whether it's something in a movie, or whether it's numbers on a screen of a TV show. Everything counts to them because Lucifer wants to be like the Most High who is very accurate and precise perfectly to the T. And my question is, and as evil as this man invading Russia is and how many people he has murdered and how much he has stolen to get the wealth and power he has, why is not anyone talking about the evil that is going on in Ukraine, the way black people are treated, the trafficking that goes on there. I'm not going to get into that because I'm not trying to trigger that beast, the algorithm of the beast who is alive, the algorithm of the image of the beast. But my question is, why is this president in Ukraine being lifted up almost in a messiah-like complex and who just so happens to be from that lineage of people. Why is it to the point they're even making songs about him referencing Christ? Did you know that he was an actor before he became president? Could he still be acting, brothers and sisters? But my question is, as they lift up this man who strangely came on the scene and as they exalt this nation, long live Ukraine, stand for Ukraine, every nation around the world and millions on social media are promoting the colors blue and yellow blue and yellow but as i started to notice this and meditate the lord spoke to me and said 
look deeper. These two colors have been chosen many years ago by the beast, by Lucifer, to be the colors that is used in magical rituals to cause the people to love the beast and the abomination. Think of all the corporations that choose blue and yellow. I mean, I'm not even going to take the time. Just the little bit you have seen on the screen. Think of all the times. But have you noticed that the same colors that are strangely being promoted. No other country had this treatment like this country. These two colors that you see being lit up on high rises and promoted through social media just so happen to be the colors of the abomination. Did you know that? And it's so diabolical because they go out of their way to promote these two colors when it comes to the snake bite. All you have to do is scroll through Google pictures and images which will show you clips and pictures from news reports and websites and social media and you'll start to notice something very eerie. You'll notice that there will be a woman with a yellow sweater behind a blue screen receiving the abomination. You'll notice a yellow bus with the blue sky as they have an article about the abomination. You will notice so many imagery. You will notice that picture after picture after picture, video after video after video, it is blue and yellow. These are the colors that were chosen because you have to understand something about colors. As colors can be used for good, just as fire can be used for good, they can also be used for bad. They can be used in psychological warfare. They can be used in magical rituals. Remember, the Bible says that the Antichrist will wage war against the saints and that he will wear out the saints. You see, in the original language, this means he will harass them. He will beat them down, not just in the physical, but in the mental realm. It will be a mental warfare. It'll be a war of the mind. This means that everywhere you go, they are constantly operating through sigil magic, through lesser magic, through rituals, using colors to program the brain to be triggered at the showing of that color. Remember the movie Manchurian Candidate with Denzel Washington. Certain words that were spoken triggered him to do a certain thing. I truly believe I truly believe that blue and yellow, colors created by God, have been chosen by Lucifer as the colors of the beast to propagate as the colors for the abomination. Clean slate, the culmination of 500 years of preparation. On holy ground on the night of the hunter's moon, I will cast the fulfillment spell inscribed upon the Medici tablet. The spell will bond the chemical disinfectant DI7 with the CV1000 carrier virus. This blend of science and sorcery will disinfect the planet of all intelligent life, fulfilling my greatest desire, the complete destruction of the human race. The praying gargoyle will protect me, my daughter, and my kind from the plague, and gargoyles will take their rightful place as the rulers of this world. I will take my rightful place. Point zero will be St. Damien's Cathedral. There is a psychological effect with colors. And there are many videos about it. Pick blue and orange, drama blue and orange, bio blue and orange. 
What emotion are filmmakers trying to lead us towards with this pair of opposing colors? And every other color treatment for that matter. Consider the mood ring, the hues of emoji or even aura photography. Like music in an elevator or a doctor's waiting room, color has the power to influence how we feel without our even noticing. Film directors have exploited our color connection for decades. In fact, there's a rule book of emotions that colorists, the people who manipulate the colors of film, follow. Today, we are breaking down the psychology behind individual colors. Color can be a means of expression, but it all started as a factor of survival. Flowers use color that humans can't even perceive to attract certain insects for pollination. And some insects even use color to warn a potential predator of defensive toxins. So if color plays such a vital role in some of the smaller organisms in life, imagine how it affects us humans. We respond to color neurologically, biochemically, and psychologically. And although there's still a lot of mystery and complexity surrounding color, we can use what we do know to tell better and more powerful visual stories. So we mentioned how yellow can be associated with gold and the everlasting. And remember how I said that our cultural background affects the way that we interpret color? Well, traditional Chinese culture links yellow to the most valuable things in life. In fact, during the Qing Dynasty, the emperor was the only one allowed to wear yellow clothing. So maybe you don't have to pitch your movie to a Chinese audience and this might not matter to you, but again, just take notice how the meaning of color can shift just based on geography alone. So the Western culture can see, like we mentioned, yellow as gold or as the divine. And yellow as gold or as the divine. putting it on the chest of the false statue of Jesus down in Brazil. What is it do you think the enemy is saying when he puts the abomination across the chest of what people think is Jesus? This is the new savior. Now the new religion is even more secularized than the one that we've been laboring under for a long time. It is the cult of science. There is a band that I had never heard of called the Kaiser Chiefs. This is an English indie rock band. The lead singer is Ricky Wilson. He was just at a concert full of all sorts of people. They've got their hands in the air. And he says, that's right, put your hands in the air. Not hands in the air to feel the music, not hands in the air to feel the spirit. Hands in the air to show me how clean you are because you've gotten your vaccine. Let me hear if you've had the Pfizer vaccine. Let me hear from Moderna, AstraZeneca. See from the anti-vaxxers. This breath. Hands in the air. Yeah, you've got clean hands. I can see it's good. We spray you with gel here. This is really creepy stuff, and it doesn't make any sense unless you are familiar with religious ritual. It's a sort of religious ritual, right? With, with a great many religious rituals, you, you undertake a ritual purification. So you know that you're broken, you know that you're fallen, you know that you're impure, but then you go through this ritual purification, and then you are pure again, right? And then you go, go out into the world. And so this has become a, a literal uh, ritual. A, a, you know, it's not just that you're cleansing your soul, though that's part of it with this, but you're, you're cleansing your body, because we live in this very secular age. And by cleansing your body, you cleanse your soul. This is why the anti- are being booed, this is why they're being jeered, this is why they're called deplorable and awful and murderers. It's the Antichrist spirit. Quit looking to the rebuilding of the temple where this man is going to come in and set himself up. He's already on the throne. He's already in his temple. I saw the beast arise with seven heads as I stood upon the sand of the sea. 
the kings united behind the curtain and he was handed the key the scroll of revelation is already open if you happen to look so many don't understand the mark of the beast the devil's really after your book the temple of god is not a building but within the skin and the bones I'm trying to show you the mystery of iniquity when the beast sits in his throne. Favorite color? Like no man to see So it's no surprise that tranquility, harmony, faith, and loyalty are some of the things associated with blue. And other meanings can include spirituality, fulfillment, stability, technology, sadness, and cleanliness. alone. So the Western culture can see, like we mentioned, yellow as gold, or as the divine, or as the divine, or as the divine, or as the divine. So it's no surprise that tranquility, harmony, faith, and loyalty are some of the things associated with blue. And other meanings can include spirituality, fulfillment, stability, technology, 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 technology. But I'm going to tell you what I believe. I believe that the enemy has chosen yellow and blue for this reason. Now, whatever the height of the color, whatever the depth, whether it's a lighter blue or a darker blue, whatever height of the color yellow, whether it's a bright yellow or a more orangey look, this is the category he has chosen. And I believe it's because both represent something organic to our spirit man. Yellow, in any level you put it, represents the sun in the sky. Now to a human being that doesn't believe in God, the sun is the most powerful thing to them. It is what gives them life. It is what they most appreciate. It is what they know they can't live without. The same thing with blue, which represents water. Are you starting to see? the craftiness of Lucifer. So by using these colors, when promoting the abomination, the psychological effect is, this is what will give me life. I need this. I need this in my life. And I warned you for so long now that the abomination is the idol being exalted as a God. And when I said this in the Gospel of Vaca that I preached in one of our conferences, of course, that video was removed. You can still watch it on our website. I warned you that this abomination has been called the, the savior of the world, even the Messiah. Our only hope, they said. And as Pharisees laughed, and slanderers lied. The world continued to exalt this abomination. And I warned you that when they brought the abomination into the temple of God in the Old Testament, the Holy Spirit departed. The same way now when they bring the abomination into the human temples, the Holy Spirit will depart them and the light of the candle shall no longer shine at all in them. But still to this day, they dance and praise in Israel as they're about to get their fourth snake bite. So the people, so the masses are deceived, lifting up the idol as it is injected into their temple, causing the abomination of desolation. But could it be possible that as so many think the chess game is over and mandates have gone away, but yet, strange enough, as soon as that happens, everybody is standing for a country that represents the same two colors as the abomination. And now, strangely, everybody is standing with blue and yellow. Standing for blue and yellow. 
coming against anybody who is against blue and yellow. But all the enemy has to do, because remember the brain, the mind, the psychological, the psyche, it operates differently than you may think. All you have to do is study how children learn, and you will know this. This is why cartoons are so colorful and bright. Children learn from colors and symbols and characters. The devil knows this, and it doesn't change just because people become adults, because even the Most High God calls grown-ups his children. So as people say they stand for blue and yellow, thinking in their mind they mean Ukraine, the enemy just replaces the word Ukraine to the abomination. And now they have even committed further allegiance to the abomination. It is psychological warfare. It is diabolical. And these two colors have been so deeply ingrained into the psyche and the minds of people for so long that these two colors are everywhere together. This is how long the king of Hollywood, the magician behind the green screen curtain has been propagating this plan. Now, before we go to the next level of this documentary, I want us to go over what lesser magic is and how it is used against the masses because I want to make sure that you completely understand how the enemy, how the dragon through the beast system has been divining and bewitching and fighting against you your whole life. And the only way out is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. However, you have to also know how the enemy is fighting you. So that way you can be mentally aware to resist the spells when they send them against you. Lesser magic. Let's go to the screen. I want you to read it with me. Lesser magic, also referred to as everyday or situational magic, is the practice of manipulation by means of applied psychology. Anton LaVey, one of the most prominent Satanists, wrote that the key concept in lesser magic is the command to look which can be accomplished by utilizing elements of fornication, sentiment, and wonder. In addition to the utilization of looks and body language and sense, but look what he says here, by the use of color. You see? So they operate spells in witchcraft through color magic. He goes on to say even patterns and odor. LaVey wrote that the term fascination and glamour have origins in the world of coercive magic. The word fascination comes from the Latin word fascinare, which means to cast a spell upon. This system encourages a form of manipulation, role play. Remember, the whole world is a stage to these Luciferians wherein the practitioner may alter several elements of their physical appearance in order to aid them in seducing the bewitched or bewitching an object of desire. I needed you to see it for what it is, and we've been warning you for years. Please wake up if you're not already woken. It's time for you to wake up. From the day you came out of your mother's womb, the dragon through the beast system was assaulting your mind with witchcraft and magic on all different levels. But lesser magic is one of the most powerful forms of putting a spell on people. So you read it yourself, you heard it yourself. By the means of using colors, they can operate psychological warfare to bewitch people. Remember, 
The Bible says that the Antichrist will wage war with the saints and wear them out, the Bible says. If you study the original language, it literally means to harass. It's a psychological warfare, not just spiritual and definitely not just physical. And the in this color combination, yellow and blue, has been handpicked by the devil. Now, even though all colors belong to the Most High, Satan has handpicked these two colors to be what he uses when he operates lesser magic to deceive the people to receive the mark of the beast. Now, there are other color combinations that he uses for different things, but this is the most important to him because this is the mark. The reason why your favorite companies like Walmart, the things you're most familiar with, have the same colors. The reason why from the time you were crawling to the time you're watching this, all the shows you've watched, the movies, the cartoons, the news, the reason they wore certain color combinations is to operate the lesser magic, to prepare you to receive that which would be brought in the future. But the future is now. This blue and yellow ritual is one of the most diabolical plans that the devil does not want you to know about. He has made it where these two colors subconsciously make the masses feel comfortable, warm. They look at these colors as their life source. Divine, as you heard the man say. They put their faith in these colors. There's a connection to spirituality and technology. We know the abomination is technology injected. You wouldn't be so gullible to just assume they would drop mandates in certain countries, although there are many countries that, that are still having the mandate. But the more wealthier countries have been bringing down their mandates because they want you to lower your guard. But the main reason is they wanted you to focus on Ukraine so they can operate a global spell of lesser magic by having the whole world stand for blue and yellow. Standing for Ukraine, but subconsciously the mind associates the colors rather than just the name. Now we know we love the people of Ukraine and we pray for those refugees, but they're being used as pawns in this diabolical chess game. We love all people of all countries and we pray for all those that can be saved. But make no mistake about it. This has reinforced the spell and millions upon millions that have posted on their social media that have chanted, I stand with Ukraine, that have represented the blue and yellow colors. Subconsciously, all Lucifer is going to do is replace the word Ukraine with the abomination. And the, and the spell through lesser magic has been strengthened for the next wave when they reinforce the abomination on the masses. Looking for those who were on the fence, looking for those who were hesitant as they chanted and stood for the same colors that the abomination represents, their subconscious didn't even realize they were being deceived to receive that the snake bite i hope you understand and there's a reason why i took the time to re-explain this because we love you and we don't want you to be damned be very careful the whole world is a stage you don't find it strange that a man in ukraine who was an actor as a president on a tv show would actually become president in real life. 
The whole world is a stage, brothers and sisters. Now we know all colors belong to God. Yellow and blue belong to God. But you have to break the lesser magic off of you today. You have to break the lesser magic off of you by calling on the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I will pray for you. Because once you're exposed, because once your eyes open and you see what the enemy is doing, he can no longer use that ritual on you because now your mind will reject it. Your spirit will reject it. And every time you see these color combinations, you're going to know these colors belong to the Lord and they can't use this spell of lesser magic on me anymore. I thank God. This word has reached you today. But brothers and sisters, we have to go to another level of this documentary. Take a walk with me. Recently, this wicked man on the screen, who just so happens to be the top pusher of the abomination, was interviewed you notice the woman is wearing a yellow sweater and there's blue behind her I want you to watch this video we'll be right back turning now to the fight against the coronavirus nationwide the number of new cases has dropped to an average of around 45,000 a day a level we have not seen since July of last year so far just over 69 percent of the eligible population has been fully vaccinated the Pfizer shot is the most popular, with more than 123 million of those fully vaccinated people getting that type of vaccine. Pfizer's chairman and CEO, that's Dr. Albert Borla, has a new book. It's called Moonshot. It's called Moonshot. Joins us on the table. It's so nice to see you in person and to have you at the table. Thank you for having you know, me. You know, when I was reading the book and I was thinking about the title, Nine Months is How Long It Takes to Have a Baby, too, by the way, Dr. Borla. <laughs> so I thought, ah, there's something there. But when you say that you An push... equal miracle. Yeah, and it's, <laughs> yes, that too. You know, when I was reading the book and I was thinking about the title, Nine Months is How Long It Takes to Have a Baby, too, by the way, Dr. Borla. <laughs> so I thought, ah, there's something there. So the reason they do five to 10 years out because they got to see what happens to the person. That alone should tell you something. But I want to show you guys such a blasphemous thing. Now, even though it's, 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 a va it's, it's one of those Christmas type things, I want you to see this. They have a nativity scene where they're offering the COVID vaccine to the baby Jesus. We know that's not Jesus, we know that. But we get what they're trying to say. All right, but wait, there's more. It would just so happen to be that they purposely came out with the vaccine nine months later, which represents the birth of a savior. Saints, this stuff is OD deep, y'all. They took nine months to create the vaccine, which represents nine months to give birth to their Messiah. You know, when I was reading the book and I was thinking about the title, Nine Months is How Long It Takes to Have a Baby, too, by the way, Dr. Borla. <laughs> so I thought, ah, there's something there. But when you say that you An push... equal miracle. Yeah, and it's, <laughs> yes, that too. Notice that he calls the abomination the moon shot. The moon shot. You see, it's a play on words. You get it? Moon shot. It's obvious. Everybody sees that. But what is the agenda? What are they saying? Why involve the moon into their ritual? Well, anyone who came out of witchcraft knows the moon is very important to the children of Satan, to those in the occult. But he goes on to call the abomination the moonshot and he writes a book called Moonshot. And as I was meditating on this, I just started to 
God was allowing me to see the agenda. Look it all through. Hollywood. Music. How the moon is promoted in the occult. Ozzy Osbourne, one of his most famous songs was Bark at the Moon. Michael Jackson transformed into a beast in the presence of the moon. But where is this coming from? And why is this wicked man who is pushing the abomination, calling it the moonshot? What is it they're saying? Because remember, they operate out of witchcraft language, coded language. They operate out of lesser magic. They tell you what they're doing, but they do it as cowards in the guise of something else. They love to be behind curtains when they talk to people. They're not just transparent most of the times. They're vague when they tell you their diabolical agendas. So as God led me on this journey, I started to notice the increase of the mentioning of the moon. Even on social media, you would notice a lot of TikTok videos that usually end up using the same music if you've noticed that. One of them that blew up and became so popular was a random song by a man who said he would talk to the moon, I think it was. And he even got a remix and a rapper who was sacrificed and killed was on that song. The moon is propagated even in food. You see, lunar or luna is another word for moon. You got luna bars. Notice it's blue and yellow. Even in the Bible, when it mentions a lunatic, it literally says in the blue letter, it literally says it means they were moon struck. So clearly, this is not a joke to the children of Lucifer that operate in the occult. Remember, the same way we as the children of God, the manifested sons of God, also see God communicate with us with numbers and colors and other things, and we have power from Him. It's the same way the Luciferians use numbers and colors and get witchcraft power. This is the exact same thing that Lucifer does, but perverted with powers of darkness. You see, the children of the devil also use numbers and colors to communicate through and by Lucifer, and they get witchcraft power. They're parallel. As Moses operated the power of God, Jannies and Jambres operated the power of Satan because Lucifer wants to be like the Most High. You understanding what I'm saying to you? So as they're using these colors and these symbols and these numbers, they use it with the power of magic. I started to meditate and I knew there was something deeper. And the Lord said to me, type the words, moon child. Because you know, the enemy is after the children, right? And when I typed in moon child, I was literally taken back in my seat. What would be the odds that Alistair Crowley wrote a book called moon child about a baby who's transformed? And it just so happens to be that the colors used are blue and yellow. And it just so happens to be on the cover where a woman is with child and the devil is on the back. It is the colors blue and yellow. You know, Alistair Crowley named himself the beast. He was a high-ranking Luciferian and Freemason. Many pay homage to him 
and follow after his teachings to usher in this great reset. What used to be called the New World Order, the name now has been updated. Notice that there is a mark on the forehead of the child. So I went on the website of this wicked man who is a high-ranking Luciferian and has a religion rooted in the occult. And when he describes writing, calling this abomination Moonshot and writing a book, he said he wanted to share. He wrote Moonshot to share his faith. In science, but this is a uh, interesting wordplay because Alistair Crowley also believed that science and magic worked hand in hand. Interesting enough, when you go to New York and see this man's building, the occult is all over the wall. But it goes deeper brothers and sisters, you see, but it just so happens to be at the same time the book Moonshot is released representing the abomination. There just so happens to be a movie coming out called Moonshot. Notice that the colors at the end of the trailer are blue and yellow. Well, let me guess. That's just another coincidence. And I don't know what I'm talking about. But to those that see in the spirit, you know what I'm telling you is truth. And it just so happens to be that there's a new superhero on the scene who represents the moon. But then I started to meditate and I went to the word of God. And in the book of Acts, the people worshipped a goddess called Diana or Artemis is the original language. And you see this goddess, this Greek goddess was the goddess of the moon who fell from heaven. And it just so happens to be that this man who named his book and named the abomination happens to be Greek. I started to put the pieces together through meditation led by Jesus Christ, who is the only reason I could even give you this knowledge. He gets all the glory as I'm putting the pieces of this puzzle together. What I'm about to tell you is very shocking. You see, Artemis, the goddess of the moon, you know, she was also the goddess of medicine and disease. What would be the odds of that? But what if I told you she had the power to turn people into a beast? Now, is that a coincidence or is something that the enemy did not want exposed being revealed to you right now? And it just so happens to be that NASA, you know, that wicked tongue of the serpent symbol, the liars, just so happened to launch something called Artemis, their moon mission. And now you know why 
this pagan Luciferian murderer named the abomination, the moon shot. Because they have always worshiped other gods. Go back to the days of the children of Israel, why God had nations wiped off the earth. There is nothing new under the sun. It is not a coincidence that Artemis that was worshiped by pagans in the book of Acts, the very people that fought Paul the apostle and the other servants of God worshiped a goddess who fell from heaven, the goddess of the moon, who was able to bring disease or medicine, who had the power to turn people into a beast. Yet we're in the last days and the mark of the beast is being pushed by the same man that calls it the moonshot. What more can I say to you? I have warned you not to put your guard down. I have told you ahead of time. I have taken the time to make this separate video so you can get your house in order and get prepared. Get closer to Christ to hide the word in your heart and study to show yourself approved to pray without ceasing and to fast often and don't forsake the assembling of yourselves together. Fellowship with one another. Love your spouse and children. Love your neighbor as you would love yourself. Love your enemy. Forgive those that have hurt you and love the Lord your God above all things because he is at the door. And remember one thing, these so-called preachers and YouTubers online that are all in agreement that we are nowhere near, that this can't be the abomination, but yet they are not understanding prophecy. These are the very same people that can't even discern that biblical prophecy has already started to come to pass. But yet they will tell you, yet they will tell you this isn't the abomination. Well, my question to you, brothers and sisters, is how come they are silent when it comes to the great river Euphrates? Did you know that that river has been drying up for almost 10 years? This means that the Most High God has already sounded the trumpet and the bowl has been poured out and the very prophecy that the river Euphrates would dry up has already begun. It is drying up. So you're going to tell me there's no way the mark of the beast is on the earth, but yet three chapters later in Revelation 16, the great river Euphrates has already begun to start drying up. Just like the Pharisees, they didn't understand prophecy. They studied the scrolls. They studied all the prophecies of the Messiah. But yet when he was standing in front of them, they hated him, rejected him, and had him crucified to the cross. Are you telling me there is not a possibility that the crowd of teachers, of so-called pastors and teachers online are you telling me there's not a possibility they're wrong? Biblically, is the crowd usually right? Or is the crowd usually the ones that have deceived themselves? And while I plead with your soul, more and more so-called leaders have not only bowed their knee to the beast and taken the abomination, but they're also opening up their temples to have more bitten by the dragon. So you have been warned. Are you prepared for another wave 
for more lies, propaganda, to shut down nations, and you do not know what could happen to America. Cherish what you have in Christ and be grateful because you don't know what tomorrow will bring. But Christ knows, so stay in Him. But prepare yourself and make sure you keep an eye on the things that I warned you about so you're not taken by surprise. And we will continue to communicate on our website because there are certain videos we're not going to be able to upload on YouTube. We love you all so much. And I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ for all those that are sincerely crying out unto the Lord and following after him. I break any curses or spells that have been put on you through any form of magic, whether it's sigil, greater or lesser magic the spells of operating through colors and all types of psychological warfare i break it off of you now in jesus christ's name pray for us as we continue to pray for you in jesus christ's name we love you all bless speak the truth you lose so many friends and even family That's when you'll find out everything in this world is truly vanity. Somebody pinch me and tell me this is all been a dream. I try to wake up, but deep down I know it's not a dream. Nothing but a dream How could so many line up and take the mark of the beast I try to block it out my mind like it isn't real To see so many people fall away, can you relate to how that feels?